वेलकम टू आर सीरीज द भगवद गीता फॉर ऑल नमस्कार वील कंटिन्यू रीडिंग विथ चैप्टर एट अक्षर ब्रह्म योग और द योग ऑफ इम्पेरिशेबल एप्सल्यूट In our last episode we learned about the Upanishads. They are texts that share knowledge of the world of spirituality and of ways to live peacefully in this world. We've come to know more of human consciousness from the Upanishads and now have a chance to understand the supreme reality of Brahma Vidya. Our Vedas have often referred to God as Brahma. Shri Krishna tells Arjun that brahma is the supreme entity or the absolute reality brahma is beyond the material realm like space time and even the cause and effect of things this brahma is described as aksharam in sanskrit it means imperishable or indestructible why indestructible because brahma is not affected by the changes in the universe Arjun requested to know what adhyatma meant. The word adhyatma has its origin in Sanskrit too. Let's understand the root of the word. Atma means soul or the abstract individual or the entity. Adhi could mean either one of these. Above, over and above or besides. Thus adhyatma would mean concerning the spirit, the soul and the individual personality the science of the soul in short adhyatma also has another interpretation the discipline of knowledge that leads to realization this means the path to spirituality in this context shri krishna uses adhyatma to explain one's own self the soul with the body the mind and the intellect Another question put forth by Arjun was regarding karma. We all know what karma is. They are the actions we perform, the object or the intent. These karmas are said to circle one's life as one circles in material existence. It is said that our karmas in this life determine a lot about how our next life will be. Next on Arjun's mind was understanding the concept of Adi Bhuta and Adi Daiva. Adi Bhuta are the physical elements from which things manifest. Adi Daiva is the personality that is above all, sovereign over these material manifestations. And at last comes Adi Yajna, or the Lord of all sacrifices, which is Shri Krishna himself. There's a simple way to put these concepts in perspective. Think of Shri Krishna as the light. Light is often described as untouchable, formless, invisible, and even indestructible. There's always light around us. When there is light, we can see the things around us. When the light disappears, there's darkness, and nothing makes sense. Shri Krishna's presence is much like this light. Shri Krishna has advice on achieving god realization especially when you're closer to death. He says that if one were to consciously think of the creator when close to death one can achieve such realization. It is what you think during this tough time that manifests the same when you're born again. However, you need to be practicing such consciousness at all times and not just during the point of death after all one does not know when one might you know kick the bucket dhanyawad